63 years ago, one man invested in Bridgewater College by trading a life of collecting for a life of educating, sharing his belief in the mission of Bridgewater College as a liberal arts institution committed to enriching the lives of its students and community. His investment would leave a lasting foundation for historical and scientific scholarship at Bridgewater College. The Roe v. Pritchett Museum is Bridgewater College's hidden treasure trove a collection of over 10,000 artifacts of different mediums from all over the globe. These objects come from Africa, India, the Middle East, China, Russia, and even right from home in the Shenandoah Valley. How did the college acquire such a vast and valuable representation of international material culture? What is its purpose? And, most importantly, what is its future? There is much to learn, celebrate, and teach through the Royal B. Pritchett Museum Collection. Central to the BC traditions of education, inquiry, and community, this collection and its reflection of the work of past generations remains at the heart of present and future research and professional training at Bridgewater College. The history of Bridgewater College's museum collection dates back to 1893. The catalog that year stated that, through the unforgettable kindness of friends and patrons, the college has been enabled to make a very respectable beginning toward a museum. In 1904, the museum moved from Memorial Hall, then known as College Hall, to a third floor room in Founders Hall, which is now the east section of Flory Hall. Justice H. Klein, professor of geology and biology, served as the museum's first curator from 1905 to 1907 and 1909 to 1910. In 1954, the museum received its major donation of over 5,500 artifacts from Church of the Brethren, Reverend Earl B. Pritchett. Pritchett was from White Pine, Jefferson County, Tennessee. He had been a student at Daleville College from 1909 to 1911. When Daleville College merged with Bridgewater College in 1924, Pritchett looked to Bridgewater College as his alma mater. When looking to offer his extensive personal collections to an institution, he ultimately selected Bridgewater College. And I started the Museum of Bridgewater with 5,563 distinct catalog articles. That was a gathering of since and before the year 1900, and between 1900 and 1954. The college accepted this gift on May 28, 1954, and the college's museum, now the Royal B. Pritchett Museum, moved to its new home in the basement of the newly built science building, Bowman Hall. There it would stay until 1964, when the college's library, previously housed under Cole Hall, moved across campus into the newly built Alexander Mack Memorial Library, while the museum moved across campus from Bowman Hall to the basement of Cole Hall. Here it enjoyed a long period of growth with donations from nearly 400 other donors, while on display and in use for educational interpretation. The museum observed visits from community members and school children and worked closely with Bridgewater College's students. This work is continued today through educational outreach programs and presentations showcasing the collections and utilizing them for education in accordance with Royal B. Pritchett's wishes. The wide array of objects lend themselves to dynamic inquiry and community engagement, which is regularly provided through exhibits such as the current Birchwater College Special Collections exhibit, Practical But Pretty, Decorated Everyday Items from Around the World. This exhibit features unique representations of international material culture in a variety of mediums, emphasizing the cultural decoration of utilitarian items. Divided into five medium categories of metal, paper, wood, textiles, and ceramics, this exhibit represents only a small fraction of the unique and intrinsically valuable objects housed in the Royal B. Pritchett Museum collection. Featured items include a brass Syrian scribes case showcasing decorative floral engravings, a man's embroidered silk gauze robe from China's Qing Dynasty dating to the early 1900s, a wooden box from Russia exhibiting Fedeschino lacquering, a Shenandoah Valley book featuring decorative fractal calligraphy, and American Indian Mississippian culture pottery shards with impression markings. Today, the museum collection is preparing for another major move in order to benefit both the collection and the campus community that it serves. As Bridgewater College begins the process of renovating the Alexander Mack Memorial Library, which has served as the steward of the museum collection, an exciting future is ahead. Real B. Pritchett held goals that his donation to Bridgewater College be preserved and properly safeguarded and serve as a nucleus of a museum 
which will become a valuable source of educational endeavor for Bridgewater College. The future John Kenny Four Learning Commons will offer updated preservation storage, education and research rooms, and exhibit space to fulfill the call to utilize the Real B. Pritchett Museum collection for preservation and education. This will allow collections objects to be properly cared for and securely displayed while offering a greater opportunity for research and educational outreach. You're not building a museum for 1965, you're building a museum for the next 50 years or 100 years. And if the museum is properly taken care of and grown like it is now, it'll outgrow everything in anybody's idea if we move twice. And now we're full again. Anticipating its new home within special collections in the renovated library, the Royal B. Pritchett Museum Collection will take its place as a featured centerpiece of learning and research in the heart and hub of the Birchwater College campus, just as Royal B. Pritchett hopes.